Okay, I'm out here by my pool and I got my whirly thing up. There's a little bit of wind today, but um, I also uh, want to do an unboxing. This box right here is from Timu. Timu. Now, why I'm uh, want to talk about the Timu. <coughs> Oops, letting water out my pool. So I got on the um, Facebook group and I put out a message to all my friends and asked them, has anybody purchased anything from TMU? And I only got two responses back. So um, let's talk about that for a minute. Okay, so like I said, so I got on my Facebook group and was uh, asking people, have anybody ordered anything from TMU? So I only got two responses. And one of my friends said that she does and the clothes run on the small size. So uh, she suggested get up, up size. So I had another friend and uh, she said, a bunch of cheap crap from China and who needs any more of it and I was like okay okay well I'm not I'm not interested in clothes right now and um, I always buy cheap stuff from China <laughs> mostly because I can't afford buying the USA most of the time because it's more expensive because we don't pay cheap labor here so Made in the USA does cost more, but it doesn't always mean a piece of crap, <laughs> has been my experience. But anyway, um, I ordered something from them, so this is going to be experiment. And um, what I ordered is a whirly thing. You know, um, I got that whirly thing out there. Can y'all see it? And um, I love whirly things, so um, I ordered one. So um, let's open it and see the quality and if it works, if it's broken, because I got on the TMU on the uh, whirly thing uh, website thing, and I read a lot of the comments. And the comments said they get good quality stuff. They have no problem with the quality of stuff from Timu. And uh, I was like, well, that's a good sign. And um, then the other girls, and they said that when they order clothes, um, the pants are pretty much perf right on the size of what you say you wear is what they do and they fit. But um, some people say that the blouses and shirts sometimes run on the small side and if you wear a large get an extra large and that's kind of what my friend said that they do run small so that kind of confirmed what she was saying was true so um i'll try to get this out the box i'm just cutting the paper around it you can kind of see look now this is a whirly thing that goes in and out of its own ring and so it's a, a dimensional more like than just a regular one like I got back there. I wish I could get that in the viewfinder where y'all could see it, but I got the sun on this side and then um, the pool on that side. So I'm limited to how much shade I have because of the umbrella. But anyway, look, that's what I got. And it's one of those whirly things and I'm so excited. Now, um, it did say it's only 12 inches, and I wasn't expecting a bigger one. Now, some of the people say that, you know, it's smaller than what they were expecting, but that's okay, because they said it did work, and it was looking cool. So, uh, let me see if I can figure out how to get this out of the box, and we'll go from there, but I'm real excited about it. I just don't want to shake it too much and oh it's easy to open wasn't even taped good thing they put it in that sack because it would have fell open 
Okay, so uh, y'all still with me, right? Okay, here's the little steak thing, so you can stick it in the pot. Uh, we're familiar with those. Ooh, look. Looky, looky. I got the multicolored one. They had like a silver one or a gold one or this one. Isn't that pretty? Now, I'm going to pick it up where I know the stick is because I don't want to be messing it up. So let me see if I can get the stick out of the package. Now this little thing was only $14. So I thought, you know, that was a reasonable price for a little whirly thing. Um, you know, I've paid that for some of the ones that I put in my pots. Well, oh, I was like, I was like, those two ain't gonna go together. No way, and both ends are the same. <laughs> so, I found this in the box. I was like, oh, good. It's gonna need something like that, so. Let me just put that in. Sorry, I forget to hold it up. I get entranced in what I'm doing. <laughs> and then let's see the stick. Okay. So the little stick thing is like right there. So I'm just going to try to pick it up out of the box with that. Okay. The stick is being screwed on. Okay, the stick is tight. Here we go, I'm gonna lift. Now look. I'm lifting it out of the box. Now it's gotta catch the wind to... There it goes, can you see it? Look. Got to catch some good wind and it'll really be good. Well, I was able to catch, there comes some wind. Well, I do have some breeze, but it's not gonna catch the breeze very good. So I can sit here and try to catch the breeze, but I'm gonna find a spot to put it in the, um, in the one of my flower pots. But yeah, this costs $14 and I can't wait. I'm gonna catch it whenever it's windy and it's going and I'll, I'll shoot you a picture of that. But that's what it is. So happy birthday to me cause your birthday ain't over. <coughs> Tell your last presents in. So um, let me get back to swimming and I'll wait for a breeze. Okay, so we're gonna be swimming some more. Not much wind. I was hoping to catch the wind on my little whirly thing I got, but it's not much wind, so I guess we're going to have to just wait. Mm. 
when I catch it on a windy day, I'll I'll share that with you. But I'm real excited about it. At least it went around when it did gust of wind, so it, it does work. So it ain't broke. Someone on my comments uh, said I should put some bleach in here, but you know, I only swim once every few days, so uh, I just let the water out. Actually, I hadn't swam since my birthday until yesterday, so um, you know, was today the 21st, and um, I, I, you know, I, I, I just don't have the patience and time to maintain it for 20 days. So I just emptied it out and hung it up to dry and filled it back up yesterday so I could swim again. And then probably tomorrow I'll let this water out and dry it out and save it. Because I'll probably go swimming again before the end of the summer, you know, because you can go swimming September for sure. So, maybe two more months, so even though I don't swim every day, enough to maintain a little pool, at least whenever I have time and I want to, I can come out here and put some water in it. So I do enjoy that, but there's a breeze, but it's not moving. Maybe it's not hitting the right side of it or something. It was going while ago. I got a bird at my feeder up there. He don't know I'm in the pool. Oh, he took off. I guess he saw me. But um, I keep suet up there for the birds so they can... They can keep food so it's so hot. I don't know how much food they can find in the summer, but I feed the birds. I got a, I got a bird bath in the front yard, so I keep that full of water. Um, <coughs> it's a cement one, and <coughs> I fill it up every evening when I hand water the front yard. So even if the cat water is dry back here, I've seen cats drinking out of the... Um, the bird bath in the front yard. Hey Tom, how you doing? Ain't seen you in a while. Yeah, I know, you look at me, that means you like me. You know, they say if a cat looks you in the eye, they like you. But if they just look at you just to see before they run, they're just scared of you, but if they stop and look you in the eye and stare stare at you back, that means they like you. You know, in Texas, in the summertime, we get those cobwebs in the trees, and um, I don't know, I've seen some, but... Some summers it's like so thick, sometimes it's just like uh, kills all the leaves off the trees, but it don't seem to be too bad right now. I guess I'll figure out which way to face that in the wind so that it'll be at the optimal when the wind blows. Now, the wind blows east to west most of the time, plus or minus, but it's kind of facing northeast, southeast, south, southwest.
hear a horn, somebody's horns honking. The fob. Okay, I'm gonna get out because I got some chips and some snacks I got, so I'm gonna get out and dry so I can eat some snacks. chair paints me so there we go <laughs> I got my um, blue dot penny hat and you know these had reset but somebody told me on uh, on Facebook um, that um, they thought they had pennied again because they found a lot but I don't know but just look I'm pretty sure they need to be su spring and summer of 22 so, I don't know if they've reset or not, but somebody said that they haven't. So, I love my penny hats. I got more this year than I did any year, but that one I had on earlier, um, that was a hat from 2020, penny uh, yellow dot, I think, not a blue dot. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna go in and get me a snack and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm finished swimming. Uh, I got out of my swimsuit. I got it hanging up over there to dry. Um, it's about, I don't know, about 6, 6.30. And um, it's just been a nice day to swim. So I opened my gift from Timu. Uh, you can see it, it's right there. Uh, it's waiting for some good wind, I guess, because I've seen it move a few times, but it seems to have to have a little gust of wind. But anyway, I love it. So, uh, yeah, I say uh, I'm going to buy something else from Timu. So, I had a good swim day in my pool. And um, it was only in the high 90s today. It didn't even peak to 100. And so... Um, I'm going to go in where the air conditioner is and I'm gonna eat some more snacks. I made a hamburger earlier, um, so I might even uh, make me another hamburger, who knows? So anyway, thank you for swimming with me today and thank you for trying the Timu um, website. So um, yeah, if y'all see that coming across your feed on Facebook, I say go ahead and give it a try. I definitely gonna order a second order because I'm real happy with my little wind thing. It just looks really cool when it moves. So, uh, yeah. So it's a hot Texas day and there is some gust once in a while, but basically it's really no wind today. So, adios from North Texas and goodbye from Cowtown and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye now.